Well, if you drive through Cookville, you may see an unusual billboard. It contains the faces of murdered or missing people. And behind every one of those faces, there are family members who tell us they are victims of inadequate investigations. Fox 17 News Dennis Ferrier has the story in tonight's Ferrier Files Fight for Justice. The cases are all different. They spread out over decades, but they have something in common. They have a connection to District Attorney Brian Dunaway and the accusation that he has failed them. It was a tough meeting. It's not easy to talk about the worst thing that ever happened to your family. I can't do it right now. Okay. It's hard to hold back the tears and rage when you feel like you still don't have justice. The family of murder victim Courtney Cash was upset evidence was destroyed instead of collected. They also feel the DA's office was protecting a strong suspect in exchange for his testimony. We walked in his office. We were not even asked to sit down. And he stood up and he said, Austin Johnson is a victim and a witness. End of story. And we were dismissed. Ken Young says he was shown the talk to the hand gesture. I've never been dismissed like that by anybody in my adult life. Ever. Terry Sullivan died 13 years ago. No one has ever been charged, despite what the family believes is a very strong lead. The family says D.A. Dunaway gave them a completely unacceptable answer when they asked for a case update. His response to us was, well, that happened before I was elected. That was it. Brooke Jolly says that doesn't even make sense. It's not how responsibility works. I've worked in a restaurant before, and if you're the server that comes in on second shift, you don't look at the tables of customers sitting there and say, well, I'm not going to do anything about these. They were here before my shift. And that's how he treats his job as district attorney. Jason Rice was hit and killed by a speeding driver who left the scene of the accident. His mom, Rosemary Moore, says she begged D.A. Dunaway to charge the driver with something. He wasn't legally drunk. There's really nothing we can do. It was a tragic accident. I said, well, if he, you know, he doesn't have, he was driving without a license. He left the scene. He said, well, leaving the scene is not a crime in the state of Tennessee to leave the scene of an accident. And uh, he's, I said, well, you know, he was, he was speeding. It was reckless. He was, if he would have been going the speed limit, my son would be alive, you know, 30 miles an hour. He said, well, what do you want me to do, give him a speeding ticket? They said, it was Monica Kaysen's brother, Brandon Hood, died of a drug overdose, but his watch, phone, gold necklace, and shoes were stolen from his body in the apartment where he died. This one. Kaysen wanted the apartment owner, convicted drug dealer Sarah Underwood, to be thoroughly questioned about the overdose and theft. Kaysen says she couldn't believe what an assistant DA told her. She won't tell us anything. I said, well, she is a known dealer. You know this. Why won't you do something? Well, she's lawyered up. And? Kaysen asked, when does having a lawyer stop an investigation? She admits she was enraged and emotional and threatened to go after Underwood herself. She said that was met with sarcasm. He looks at me and he says, well, Monica, I believe, he said, you've never been in trouble. I believe you're a good candidate for pretrial diversion. What does that say? We asked District Attorney Bryant Dunaway for responses in each case. He told us he would consider responding if we allowed him to speak unedited. We told him he could respond in an email and we would put the entire email response online with the story. There are other stories in this room, every bit as heartbreaking, every bit as incomplete, every bit as soul shattering. They are the stories behind the billboard just off the interstate in Cookville. The pain behind all of these photos, a deep black hole that can only be filled with justice. All of us here are a member of a club we shouldn't have to be. There's no reason for us to be if they were doing their jobs. Each one of these stories is so compelling, we're going to do complete investigations into each one of them. It's going to take some time, but these folks are used to waiting. I'm Dennis Ferrier, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station. Putnam County District Attorney Bryant Dunaway, <clears throat> excuse me, Got back with Fox 17 News a few hours ago. He offered a lengthy and detailed explanation about each case, and you can find his unedited response at our website, fox17.com. 
From Iraq to South Nashville, the story behind a restaurant really is nothing less.